Hello, good day everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to send uh, an email using Gmail with um, Golang. So basically we will be using a package in GitHub. So basically GoMeet. So this is a, a repository that consolidates um, useful formulas uh, for starters of uh, Golang programming so basically if you are a beginner then um, you can just use this uh, packages listed here uh, I think there are a lot of other packages that are not yet listed in the readme file but uh, you should uh, see it here in the pigg file okay so but yeah uh, sooner it will be um, updated this uh, read me so for now we'll be focusing on the email package wherein we will be sending an email uh, specifically using this um, go meet and then um, using a gmail okay so without further ado you need to secure a gmail account and then you go with the google account settings and then go with uh, security and then make sure to add the recovery phone, recovery email, and then the two-step verification should be turned on. Okay, so after you have ensured that you have added the two-step, I mean, turned on the two-step verification, and then adding the recovery phone, recovery email, then you're good to go to proceed on this one. So you need just need to um, uh, enter this link in your browser. Okay. So to generate the app password, you need to enter your uh, details here. Okay. So after um, logging in with your Gmail account with this link, um, which I will put on the description uh, on this video um you will have this interface so basically this page to generate the app password so previously they have um enabled using the raw password of your gmail when you send it when you are sending an email to to another email program programmatically but um due to some constraints they have decided to have it as an app password so that the um the confident confidential um password which is the raw password will not be able to be, uh to be access of those um um persons that for example there is an, an involuntary um access or someone has, has uh, taken over to your Gmail account. So uh, might as well just uh, generate these um, app passwords. Okay, so to generate it, um, we need to select an app. So for our side, we will have it as other custom, custom name. And then we'll have the Gmail app. Or let's have that's Gmail app. Then we will generate. Then this would be your um, app password for your uh, device. So you need just to copy it. So I just need to open a notepad. This is basically the password. Okay. Uh, Gmail, um, which is the uh, we got the email, which is the emojos emojos that mark at gmail .com. okay so let's go ahead with the uh code sample so i will create a a folder name go some go sample and then here I'll just need to open it with uh, code.
and then we will have this one as a uh, module so let's initiate it uh, go mode make we have to make a link so go mode in it go uh, go some pole and then we have uh, touch main that we will have the main that go here and we'll name it package main up main so I just need to um, zoom it a little bit so that you would be able to see it further. Okay, so this is the code. And then we'll need to install the um, app, I mean the package, which is this one. Uh, let's copy it. Okay, and then we'll have copy paste. Okay, so now it's been added on uh, our go that mood. So basically, this is like a package the JSON or a a dependency manager so basically this will will take uh, all the list of the dependencies for our uh, project or on this specific project folder so now we will have we ha have added it using go get the specific repository so basically go meet version 1.2.8 which is the uh, latest version of this one uh, link 1.28a uh, let's just make it this one a and copy and then let's have go mode id uh, and then go get it's at version one two point eight eight. Okay. And then here we will in our main that go we will have um, email service. Uh, this is sh using short declaration colon equals email so this package so as long as you have added it using go get it will be uh, directly added on your uh, auto suggestion and uh, let's have this one and then new new email service we will pass the port which would be the 587 the email host would be smtp.gmail.com and then we will have an email address which is this one and then the email app password which is this one then um we will pass the i oh know it's it's the last parameter so now it will have an interface email intf so if you check the the service new email service the email intf or email interface is having one um, um, public function which is uh, send email so basically we will just send an email directly so email service that send email uh, and we will have the sending email as um, basically I have another 
sample email here so uh, pq midfind at gmail.com and then so basically this will be the the receiver email and then we have the subject so let's have test let's have the message as this is the sample message sent by uh, go program so this function send email will have uh, returning values a uh, bool and error so let's have uh, is sent or is sent here and then here if here is not equal to nil let's have lag that data left and then error sending email and then let's have the air fast here so this will create a panic uh so basically it will print this one and then it will panic or basically call the os that exit so now if it doesn't have any error let's have the, the print line uh, email sent successfully and log that time chain send email so if you're wondering where is log came from so basically this is a standard library from package.go.dev so basically the creator of go and this is the standard library of on lagging so yeah let's without further ado let's go and try this out so let's have go run that so now it will try to send the email and as you can see it says email sent successfully which means it passes through this one and uh, let's check the gmail if it's actually having that and then here so as you can see um, this is the sample message sent by go program and basically this is the end of the video thank you and please like and share